What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P, with All Urban Central. You're tuned in to the 2019 BT Social Awards. Oh, you know what time it is, your boy DC on Fly. Shout out to our Urban Central, huh? You did. What's up, y'all? It's Lex, and we are here with Desi at the BET Social Awards. So, do you still get nervous doing things like this? Well, you know, no, no, I mean, just pray and don't let go and let go. You just come do your thing. This is part of my purpose, man, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. At what point did you feel like, you know what, I can take this seriously and I can make a living off of this? Well, see, now, um... I mean, once I start building my, you know, my social media, what's the name, and now I do, I'm, I'm, I'm a stand-up comedian. So okay. once I've touched that stage that first time, mm -hmm. that's like what's like the biggest fear of what I do now. So I mean, I mean, it's nothing else that, you know, can fear me now. Right. You know, I'm an actor, I'm a comedian, so yeah. I'm so what can we expect from you in 2019? Well, I'm on tour right now with my bro, Dan, and um, Brand. I got a movie coming out that I'm in um, called Little. Produced by Will Packer with Regina Hall, Issa Rae. Oh, yeah, I'm in that, so oh, wow. yeah. Um, so you got that coming. Um, you know, more films, TV, stuff like that. So just be on the lookout. Alrighty. Yeah. It's Alexa. So we're here with Desi at yeah. Auburn Pacific. So we're here with Soldier Boy. How are you doing tonight? You look fabulous. Thank you. So you've had, you brought in the 2019 swing. So what else can we expect from you this year? My movie coming out this year, man. All AMC theaters. It's called This Can't Be Real. Shout out to World Star for directing it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My album coming out. I got Nicki Minaj on there. Um, Sway Lee, Trippy Red, Chief Keef. Everybody on there. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm going on tour with Nicki Minaj this summer. Shout out to Live Nation. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to be pretty busy this year, man. 2019. So, you were the first one. Like, you created the people getting on the internet and making a name for themselves. You were the first social media star. Yep. How do you feel that now BT is now finally honoring social media stars as real celebrities? Man, it's, it's dope, man, because when I came into the game, all what I had was the internet. I didn't have TV and radio and other platforms as the other artists had, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the internet was my only outlet to get my music out, you know what I'm saying? So it's an honor, man, to be presented and honored by BET. I, you know what I'm I love BET, man. They supported me ever since the start. Like, ever since I was 17, 18, they, they, uh, they've been supporting me. I feel like without BET, I wouldn't be as big as I am. Right, right, right. So you being the person that had the blueprint for being a person that comes up on the internet, do you feel like new rappers or people that use your blueprint, do they give you your props that you deserve? Now they do, you know what I'm saying? Now they turned up on everybody ass. <laughs> now they giving me the respect, you know what I'm saying? But like, the new generation and the young people in, in, in the music industry, they know what I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, from all the artists that I work with, they know. Right. Okay, well, coming from me, you're a legend in the game. Thank you so much for taking your time out. It's All Urban Central, and this is Soulja Boy. Hey, what's up? It's your man, Carlos Miller. You're watching on All Urban Central. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Cliff Amir, and I'm kicking it with All Urban Central. Hey, guys, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Amara La Negra, and you're watching All Urban Central. Just hilarious. Now, first of all, you are the clap back queen. Have you always yeah. been that girl? Like in high school, you was like going at people all the time? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it actually started in middle school because I went to a white high school and they was too scared to try me. <laughs> so, yeah, in middle school, I always, you know, but I got brothers or whatever. And I grew up with them picking on me and all of that stuff. So, man, I just always had to be quick on my feet all, all the time, all the time. So. so, how important do you think it is that BT is recognizing social media stars as real celebrities? Bro, I swear to God. Believe they doing it, I couldn't wait for them to do it. I could, man, we deserve so much more respect than we get. Because coming from the internet, people don't take us serious. They think we don't work hard. My nigga, I made a million dollars last year off of social media. Oh, hey, yeah, so, oh no, ain't no damn hate, friend. Look, I'm, so what else can we, you've had an amazing run. Like, yeah. you're so good. So what can we expect from you in 2019? Man, 
I got some stuff on TV coming up, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got some stuff on TV coming up. I can't let y'all know what it is. It's in the work, it's in, it's in my contract. I can't really speak too much on it. And I already did, but I broke hella rules. Um, I got movies, man. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in some movies coming up. But I got uh, got the hookup too coming out this year. I got two seconds of uh, two minutes of fame coming out with Cat Williams. Um, and I'm working on my Netflix special. Okay, so can we? Actually, I'm working on a special. Uh, I don't know if I'm going. I don't know if it's gonna be Netflix or not. I don't know whoever offering the most money, honey. Get your coin. Now, 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 let me ask you this: Can we expect a joint tour with you and your boo? Absolutely, absolutely. That's a crossover. Why wouldn't I get that money with that money? <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Lex P with Just Hilarious on Urban Central. Okay, so we're here with Blueface. Now, a year ago, could you imagine that you'd be here doing this today? Yeah. You right when I started, I, I already knew it was gone. Okay, so did you always want to be a rapper growing up? No, nope, not at all. No intention. I was playing football. Okay, so when did you decide to be like, you know what? Football is not for me. I want to do something else. Uh, shit, I just found myself in the studio. As soon as I heard my voice, I, I fell in love with it. That's what I wanted to do. Now, what artists have you not worked with yet that you want to work with? Uh, nobody. the one and only Kendall. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, how do you feel now that you have, you're doing this full time? At what point did you realize, you know what, I can do this for a living? I mean, it, I feel, it's, it feels great because it opened up so many other doors. It's just not social media. So, um, it opened up doors and even my mind to take my ass to acting class <laughs> so I can perfect the craft. I know I always wanted to do it and once I did that, things start happening for me. The same way when I made my mind up to resign from my position in corporate, things started happening for me. So you have to listen to yourself, you have to pray, you gotta listen to God. So yeah, I, I feel great. <laughs> so how do you feel now that BET is actually having a whole social awards for people like you, like we're recognizing social media stars as real celebrities now, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel good because first of all, the fact that we are like, we our influence are so huge that it caught the attention of BET to actually give us a show to, you know, honor us. I mean, that's great, because a lot of people think social media is a joke, but what they fail to realize is social media ain't no joke. So don't ever underestimate us. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> now, you are known for your loving hip-hop reads and, you know, getting on people. Has anybody ever, like, tried to run up on you or do anything? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, because first of all, mine is all jokes. Um, some of them get mad, but then once they realize what it is, it's like, oh, okay. Um, I don't dig into their lives. I'm not like a blogger or nothing. So I don't care what whatever you put on on the screen is what I'm gonna get. Right. But whatever you do off the screen, because a lot of people are like talk about this, talk about the soldier boy thing. Talk. About, I'm not talking about that. That's not what I do. I got other things I gotta do. Right. But if it's on TV and I catch it, you it's all me, it. baby. Okay. So speaking of the other things that you have to do in 2009, what 2019? What can we expect from you? 2019. Uh, actually, next month you can expect to see me on uh, BT. Um, it's coming this April. Games people play. I am on there playing the role of MJ Marquise Marquise Von Jackson. Okay. Um, so you can get ready to see that. Then I have some other things in works. So I like to keep quiet until you know right. it's time to talk about it. Gotcha. And thank you so much. We're here with Kendall and Kendall on All Urban Central. Thank you. Thank you. you be a major artist doing the things that you're doing right now. I ain't gonna lie, I never thought that I'd be a major artist today. Never. So at what point did you were like, you know what, I need to take this music thing seriously because I'm really good at it? Um, I, um when I got a feature with Drake, when the okay. City Girls was on in my fitness with Drake, it was like, okay, it's real. So like out of you and JT, y'all were friends before the City Girls, right? Yes. So is it, who convinced who, like, hey, we need to get in the studio and do this? JT, she convinced me. And you were like, we need to get in the studio, we need to take it serious. I was like, come on. And so who has been, who is a fan of City Girls that you were like, wow, they listen to me and they like my music? Drake. Drake? Yeah. So how has things changed ever since y'all done the Drake feature? I mean, you know, we got a lot of more exposure. Um, 
We got another so like we got other artists like wanting to work with us. When Drake came, it was like okay, everybody started coming. Everybody so. started coming. Yeah. Okay, so what can we expect from the City Girls in 2019? Um, you can expect for JT to be home. Yeah, free JT. Period. <laughs> and possibly a uh, City Girls tour. Okay. All right. And we're here with Young Miami at All Urban Central. What's up, everybody? Your girl Shay Johnson here, and you're now watching All Urban. Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl XP, and we are here with the one and the only Shiggy. How you doing today? Yo, go, hold on. Now, everybody knows you from the little Kiki challenge and things like this, but what else? Like, what else could people know you by? Um, they could definitely know me from my Instagram comedy. I like to dibble dabble with the poetry. I'm really trying to step into um, serious acting because I know I'm comical, but I really want to show people that. I don't want to be typecasted, so I want to take acting as a serious career, so I'm trying to really look forward Do you to sometimes feel like the challenge has taken over your other talents and things that you can do? Um, at times, at times. It's because I feel like I'm so, like, bam bombarded with the challenge and Shiggy, like, Shiggy challenge, Kiki, whatever. It's like, in I kind of sort of want to show people that I still can do more besides that big moment. I know it's a big moment, but of, I don't want to live with that moment forever while everybody else is tired of it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to really show that other people I can, a lot of, other, a lot of things I want to do that I could do. So I'm right here, I'm kind of in that moment of the next thing right now, so I'm trying to... At what point did you realize, like, okay, I need to take this seriously, this is what I need to do for a living? Um, it's a, it was pretty fast though, cause it, it was at, the, like overnight. at the point of um when I started doing the videos for a while, so by the time this really popped off, I was kind of sort of used to how to move around, how to do it, cause I've been doing it for a little minute. But when I started doing the beginning, it took me like my first little big video, and I got a little booking. Okay. The money started coming in quick, not a lot, but it started coming to a level like when I was going outside, people noticed me, so I was like. I can't really do no regular job right now, so. Okay. It's fast, yeah. So what can we expect from Shiggy in 2019? Oh man, expect big things for your boy. You know what I'm saying? A person like me, I just want to put big positive energy in the world. Big like big moves. I just don't want to be stuck into like comedy, Instagram stuff like that. I'm trying to build a brand as far as business and other things. So you know what I'm saying? Expect a lot of big things. Like, you never know, man. I might be. A guru and some whole <laughs> other things. So just. Well, thank you so much. It's Lexby, and we're here with Shiggy at All Urban Central. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So we are here with the one and only Alonzo Arnold. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, and you always look fabulous. Oh, man, I said, I'm a fan, so I'm excited to do this right now, okay? Oh thank you so much. <laughs> now, were you one of those people that have been doing hair since you were little and it was just always a passion of yours? Well, yeah, to be honest, I started doing hair like five, six years ago. Like, I never really knew that wow. hair would be my passion. I would think I'd still be doing, you know, a waitressing job mm -hmm. somewhere at your local restaurant. <laughs> but, um, you know, I feel like now it's, it's a forever career. Right. Yeah. So at what point did you realize, you know what, I can do this for a living and I can make a lot of money? Oh, like three years ago when I started seeing the coins coming in, honey, and I was like, oh, this is it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what can we expect from you in 2019? Oh, a lot of things, honey. Sure. Surprises, you know, wig store. Um, we have a lot of a lot in store. Just stay tuned. Okay. Thank you so much. This is Lex P with All Urban Central. Yeah. Lex P, we're here with DC Young Fly. Right. Now, who is your inspiration? Like you do so much. Like who do you look at and be like, you know what? That's my goal. Man, you know what? I I just I just look at everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? I take motivation from everybody's success. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you're doing good, you inspire me. Right. right you know what right. I mean? You ain't gotta be nobody famous. Now, at what point did we, were you like, you know what, I can do this full time. Let me quit my job and take this comedy stuff serious. First of all, I didn't have a job. So I didn't have nothing to quit. You feel me? This was the job. So it was like, my partner Fatty Pay, man, he was like, you know what, you need you need, to, you need to do this. You know what I mean? And I tried it and then, you know what I'm saying? It kept it going. And how important do you think it is that BET is finally recognizing social media stars as real celebrities now? Well, you know what, it's, it's just putting the light on people that's, you know what I'm saying, that actually doing stuff from social media not right. just being famous on social media right. just taking what they doing on social media and becoming somebody so it's like shedding light on that you know what I mean because now you can do something on social media and branch yourself you know what I mean so well thank you so much as your girl XP mm -hmm. DC Young Fly and All Urban Central you did. <laughs> Oh.
Yo, man. I had the biggest comeback in 2018. Tiger. Drake. I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna thank God.